Hi everyone, let's get started with the next topic which is on configuration editor in SAP AS Java. Uh, mainly it is used for defining the parameters or defining the attributes for the JVM. So basically this is used mainly for tuning the JVM settings. JVM is basically the Java virtual machine of SAP Web AS Java. Okay, the config tool is called on the host where the database of the SAP Web AS Java is running. Authentication is performed using the log on to the operating system of the host. Okay, so if we compare it with Visual Admin, we can do remotely. Okay, so in short, config tool you have to be on the system, but Visual Admin you can start it remotely as well. Okay, so basically we have to restart SAP Web AS Java so that changes takes place. So whenever we are making any changes in config tool, it requires a restart of the web application server Java. Okay, and no username password is required to log in into this. So let us take you straight away into the config tool. Okay, so here you can see this particular folder called config tool. Okay, so to start with, let me show you how to scroll to this particular location. Here it's E drive, it's USR, normally we call it as user, user SAP, this is the SID of the system, under that look for JC01 which is in Netweaver 7.01 and from 7.3 onward it is G01 that is a slight naming convention from SAP then you need to go to a folder called J2E and under that look for the folder called config tool let's double click on the config tool here you can see a couple of things like config tool.sh config tool.bat config dot properties click then you have offline editor as well so let's click on the config tool Okay, just select this right click and run as administrator because this being a windows 2008 system so it we need to run as administrator otherwise the admin privilege doesn't come in okay so we are starting the admin tool here you are seeing that this is straight away directly connecting to the database without supplying the username and password Okay, so that is a slight difference from the visual admin which required to supply the password. Okay, next thing is this particular tool if you make any changes it requires a restart where in visual admin it was like dynamically the changes were reflected. Okay, so using config tool you are able to add and configure SAP cluster element. Okay, and with the help of config tool, we are enabling the modification of service or manager module properties. So config tool enables you to run the server in remote debug mode. Okay, let's see. Now we have started the config tool. To start with, let's see the key properties. That is, let's click on the cluster data and the moment you click on the cluster data here this is global dispatcher configuration global server configuration and the instance that is defined and the system okay the key thing that i wanted to show you to start with is the ume data and the secure store so secure store here you can see key things like you have the server you have the password for the server you have the admin port you have the username so all this is the key connecting details so you have the username passwords you have the database password the user with which it is connecting to the database so all that info connection related information is here under secure store okay all this can be changed on this particular interface so in case if you want to change anything related to this you have to come to this particular location to change whether you are changing the database user or the administrator user so everything need to be changed from this particular place only okay 
so that is on the connectivity side let's go to the next properties that we want to go into is let me open the key things like the dispatcher okay, in dispatcher you have the similar interface like you have the manager you have the services there okay then so this is about the dispatcher and let's go to the next thing is on the server configuration same thing you have these two things that is manager and services okay so some of the key services that we wanted to see we'll go through them okay so i will be attaching a uh, document as well so which you can refer later which will show you the key things which can be changed and which you can control from here so to start with let's start the main activities which is the JVM tuning so let's go to the instance so we have covered the server now let's go to the instance and in instance you can see these are the different properties which is defined here you have Java home is defined you have message server you have these parameters and let's go to the server general here you can define your uh, values like what is the maximum heap size which is there and other heap related or Java related properties can be defined and tuned over here so that is one key admin function which need to be performed from here that is tuning of the heap size and the Java memory from this particular interface okay then another thing is that we just covered was the password resets so it's basically in the secure store that we just saw we can come here and modify the passwords username passwords and all okay so that is about this and say for example in case if you want to configure your SLD also you can do it from here okay so let me show you one more thing which is on the offline configuration editor okay here you can see it's a configuration editor okay when I click on the configuration editor you can see these values are reflected here in this format and say for example you have the SLD here you have things like P4 or the HTTP host so you can make the these changes and can restart the system Okay, that is on the offline editor that I wanted to discuss okay offline editor you can start from here itself okay you can do an offline deployment you can do offline editor from here okay let's again let me start the config tool so it gives an option do you want to use the default DB settings so if you select yes it will connect to the system based on the default settings okay so the next thing that I wanted to go through is the UME related information here you can specify if you want to use an LDAP server for authentication so that is controlled from here UME LDAP data okay so that is about the LDAP stuff okay so the next thing that we can do from this is we have seen the LDAP configuration we have seen the authentication process how to reset the password okay next thing is about the keep alive settings okay so keep alive settings for the keep alive settings what you need to do is you need to go to global dispatcher configuration and you need to go to services under services look for HTTP and in HTTP we can see these are the different timeouts so we can just look for this timeout value okay so that is about the keep alive values here okay then another thing is 
on the trace here you can see one more parameter called HTTP trace which you can enable from here for debugging okay then one more thing is about the content length so you can manage the size of packet which is which can pass through the network okay so let me see where is this this is maximum request content length okay this one parameter can be tuned okay so that's about it I think these are the key things apart from this I think we have pretty much covered most of this stuff okay so let's one more time go through this server one services so in case if there is anything key thing that I wanted to highlight I can highlight it okay all right I think that is pretty much the information that I wanted to cover in config tool thanks for joining and have a nice day bye bye